here we are. I am starting this recording so I can show you I got four pieces of tape, this small thing, and what I'm doing right now so it doesn't rip up the paper like some of you noticed. I'm just putting a little bit along this, and I do want you all to watch first. Oops, I got two pieces here. Remember to look for your tooth side and your smooth side of your paper. And we're just taping this to the table. And I am putting, I'm not being very perfect with this because this is just a practice one. I just have it about half and half, like half on the paper, half off the paper, and you can't see it. There we go. And I want you to tape all the way around. This is so that your paint does not make your paper buckle because we are going to be doing wet on wet techniques that you maybe already learned a little bit last class. So again, I'm putting it on about halfway and I love that. If you are done with your tape roll, please share with the person next to you. And I still have a tape roll up here. So come on up and get one if you need it. All right, I'm gonna jump into this demo so I can stop the recording when I'm done and help you. So if you have questions, just chill and watch the vid. I should have turned this the other way now that I think about it. I don't care if you did yours up and down or whatever, okay? It doesn't matter to me. So I showed you yesterday class the wet on wet path technique that I call a path technique. And you can't even see me drawing this unless I turn the light on of this. Do you see where it's shiny? I can see my tree. So I want you to practice this pine tree and I'm gonna draw it out too after I show you how to paint it on first. I am just using clean, fresh water and my paintbrush. Thank you for asking that question. And now what I'm going to do is mix up some blue in my palettes. I'm diluting it. Remember our brush has to be wet first. And I do like to paint from my palette lid and not the cake when I want it to be diluted. And I'm added water to it. I'm, I like blue violet. That's just my fave. So now what I'm doing is I put a little droplet of blue from my brush right into the tree that I painted and you can see my pine tree. And what I'm doing now is I'm pulling out, I'm doing a dry on wet technique technically. I'm pulling out some of that water and spreading it around and adding that texture. So I hope everybody looked up and you weren't too distracted by your tape. And now what I'm doing is I'm making a little bit darker purple and you saw that I put it on and the paint is exploding and it's going in the areas that I wanted it to go in. So I have some dark trees, some light areas, and if I mess up, remember you can take your paper towel that you are keeping by you, all of you have that at your table, and you can dab it and you can absorb it and lighten up that color. If it got too heavy, also, if it got too wet because if you are getting a really big pool of water in here you are not going to paint successfully because it's going to turn your paper that you're painting on literally into toilet paper it's going to dissolve so what i'm doing right now is i'm giving my tree some depth by removing some of that paint let me turn that light off now you can kind of see that color a little bit better it is still hard to see because it is reflective and you can't quite see everything on here. So I've got that now. And if I would like it to have some more darker areas, I got some more paint from my cake pan. I'm calling it cake pan. <laughs> and I'm adding in on those areas, on the left-hand side, I'm adding in more of that color. I saved black for the end. So I want you to do six different trees. So how I drew that tree, I'm gonna draw it right here for you to see because maybe you don't know how to easily paint like I did a pine tree. What I do is I start with little, oops, that's too dark for you to see, too light, I mean. In a way, think about them as triangles like this that get bigger. You might remember drawing Christmas trees before. So when I paint, I go like this. I pull it out and so the whole inside of this is going to get wet and soaking wet with water. This is my tree technique that I did for this one right here, but I don't see all those little individual branches. I just let the water do its own crazy thing. 
but you saw how I painted it on first. And I have one clean cup right here of water and one cup that I'm using to mix. And that's how you keep your paintbrush from getting mucky as well as keeping a piece of paper towel by you. I'm gonna show you a different tree technique. The next tree technique that I am going to draw is just like your basic whatever maple tree. I don't know trees. I'm not a boy scout. I just call them trees. So the next type of tree I'm gonna draw is in a way, it's what you guys used to draw maybe in elementary school called lollipop trees. Right, looks like a cute little fluffy oh, lollipop. Yeah. So cute, but we can do better because we're grown-ups now. I'm kidding, we're going to try so hard. Oops, I got that wet and so it spread it out. I can adjust that. I'll just like paint a present underneath it or a sleigh. I'll come up with a solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm outlining this right now. Just it's, um, what would you call this shape that I just did? Kind of a clout, abstract I heard, very good. It's an abstract organic shape. It is wiggly, it is literally all over the place. And what I am gonna do, God bless if I can, I am going to leave little tiny areas that I'm drawing right here. I'm going to not paint everywhere. I am not gonna add water everywhere. I'm going to leave little negative spaces because when you look at this tree, can you see the sky out the window through the leaves? That is true, you can't do that when you draw a lollipop, okay? So that's the shape I'm gonna do and I'm going to add a trunk. It'll, the trunk will turn that color or whatever that I'm doing and then once it dries, I'll turn it brownish like wood. So I'm gonna do this shape next and then I'm gonna show you how to do palm trees. Isn't that cute? So when you draw your landscape, you can make it in the woods. You can make it here. You can go in the mountains. You can go to the beach. For this, this is just like the practice, right? So how many do you want us to draw? I want you to try six different trees. They could literally be all the six same trees if you're still learning how to do that. So I was going to ask, can it be the same trees but like different colors and maybe different colors? Yes. Shapes uh huh. So right now I am leaving those negative spaces. I'm going to turn that light on so you can see the reflection of it. It's very hard to see. I'm using clean water and I am leaving again some areas dry and I am dabbing with my brush all over the place. And I can still adjust this. I am going to do, well, be, that's okay. Why don't you just sit back and watch and then I'll help you when I'm done with this. But your tree is your tree. We're not growing, we're not the same growers. Yet. That's exactly right. It does have a shadow. And then over here, I like dabbed it. So you can see where my tree is at. And that's a lot of gaps that I did, correct? So I can fill those in now. I just wanted to have that control. So even though you can feel really out of control when you're doing watercolor techniques and it floods the area and everything gets messed up, you just have to understand how the water works and that you're in charge of it and you use nice paper and nice brushes and you won't have this problem. And also, all the tree leaves are, tree leaves, yeah, 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 are not connected together. So I'm using the tippity top of that brush and I'm making cute little dots to show the illusion that there's such small twigs in there. So this is technically not wet on wet that I'm doing. This is wet on dry because my brush is wet, but the paper's dry and I'm adding some um, point, pointed details and I am going to like smoosh them together just a little bit because my dots look too perfect. I'm just too good at drawing dots. I'm all right, and another thing that Jaden talked about right next to me is one side looks like it has shadows, correct? So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm adding a darker value to one side and I'm going to let the other side be lighter by dabbing it with my paper towel away. And I have to make sure that the rest of that dirty paper towel doesn't get on my paper and ruin my life, because it will. And I'm lightening up one side and absorbing that water and the color that was connected to it. And now I'm getting some more blue and I'm putting it in the areas on the left hand side. You can do the right hand side. I don't care. Oh, I didn't do the trunk. That's okay. And once, oh, Miss Bill, you forgot which one was your clean one and your dirty one. That's fine. I mixed my brush in the wrong cup. It's fine, you're able to get up and yeah. change your cup of water any dang time. 
I am going to just continue to draw a trunk down here because most of the time you will not see a brown trunk. You will see um, shadows that look like blue. They look like purple. They even have green in it. Things are not just green and brown when you draw trees, when you take a closer look. I, oh, I did it again. <laughs> That's fine. Now you guys will be able to see my water. And once this dries a little bit, I can do dry brush techniques to add tree trunks and twigs on there. But for now, I'm keeping it the way it is. So I'm adding in some lightness there. Does anybody know what color I would add to this blue to make it brown? What's the opposite of blue? Orange, yes, correct. So I will add a little bit of orange in there. Oh, just keep on mixing in the wrong one. I'm gonna have to label it. It's really fine, because I barely have any paint on it. And it neutralizes it, and now I have a grayish, brownish trunk right there. And if I want, I can still add some lines, and you can see those lines going in the back. So I do just want us to practice drawing some trees today. That's cute. You can do mushrooms instead. I am recording this, so what is your question? Just giving you a reminder. You feel rushed? A fan brush. A fan brush. Um, what you do to make a fan brush, because I didn't buy any, is you don't ruin it. Just put it down while this is wet. I'm just using my nail, and then I'm going to just go like this. And then I got my color on here. Hey, Cammy. And then you can do this technique with your fan brush. You're making your own DIY fan brush, because fan brushes are expensive as heck. So that's one technique that you can do that I didn't even think about, but this is dry brush. <laughs> Goodbye. So you can do that dry brush, but right now we're doing wet on wet technique. So the next one that I wanna show you is a basic palm tree, cause those are real cute. Kylie, I feel like we drew a lot of palm trees last, or the couple, we did do palm trees, right? Isn't that cute that I remember what we painted together two years ago? Okay, the next one that I'm going to do is a palm tree, and then I want you to practice each of these three different types of trees. Okay, so a palm tree, most people draw, it looks like this, like the basic palm trees, right? Oh, so cute. Tropic, take me to Aruba, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Look, it's a palm tree. I'm going to be painting that with my clean water. Who has clean water I can steal? Oh, bring it to me. Bring it to me, because I've messed up. Thank you so much. What a good student I have. You can have that. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, I'm painting it with my clean water. You could totally use a pencil to draw this out first, but draw it as lightly as your little heart can. So I am starting off with little arches, little arched lines, and I'm going to make some of them a little bit thicker. So right now it's gonna look like a spider when I first do this. I'm just doing the leaves part. Ooh, I want this to be more of a yellow green. So I'm gonna mix green oh, and clean my brush off and the one that I am using for color mixing, yellow green. There we go. And now my colors are going into the areas that I want. So right now this really just looks like a leaf, but what I'm going to do since it's still wet right there is I'm going to make the water travel to the location I want by pulling it with the tip of my brush that I abused earlier when I was making a DIY fan brush. So get your brush wet and reshape it with your fingies and you're going to use the tip of the brush. It's a wet brush and I am going to pull out little tiny palm fronds, little tiny lines along the edge. to give the illusion of a palm frond. And you can draw more leaves, but this is like the basic one. I need to feel like I need to have one going out that way so it doesn't look flat over there. And then once this dries a little bit, I'll add some of that branches and some of that coconuts. But here's just a couple different trees that I want you to try doing. I want you to do six trees and you can look up some different ones or I could do all of the same ones. All right.